Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and today I'm going to bring you a paint by number from Crafting Spark and Wizardi. Now once before I brought you a Wizardi painting and you may remember I got it from Hershners.com but just recently Crafting Spark reached out to me and they said they are actually Wizardi. They sell at Wizardi.com and that is where you can buy the Wizardi paintings. So you can find all of the Wizardi paintings because I'd only seen a few select options and I was missing out, you guys. <laughs> was I missing out and you were missing out too. There are only a handful really at Hershner's. I mean, Hershner's has a nice selection, but Wizardi.com is where you're gonna find the goods. So I found this beauty right here, and I was like, OMG, please, I would love to test your paintings. So they sent me two. Today we're gonna focus on this one, and I'm gonna come back another day, and we're gonna talk about the other one because they're both so beautiful. I kinda wanna just give them each their own video. So, Let's talk about their kits. Let me insert a larger photo of this piece right here in the video for you to see up close. Now, isn't it just the cutest, most unique, different painting? Like, I haven't seen this one anywhere. So, that immediately struck my attention. I love the colors. This beautiful aqua blue VW bug, this whole Paris vibe with the roses and the flowers and the pinks and the, you know, do I even need to go on? I mean, we've got some teals in here and this palette screamed my name. Okay, so even the box is just like appealing to me, the color palette, everything about it. So the name of this painting is called French Alley. Again, doesn't it just scream French Alley to you? I mean, even if you have no love for anything French, like I have a thing for Paris because I've been to Paris, but even if that doesn't even appeal to you, this just, I mean, ah, uh, okay. So moving on, sorry. Eh, you know how I do. It's like, instead of squirrel, it's like pretty colors or paint or anything that's creative or sparkly. And this, the fact that it says spark, you know, maybe it just grabbed my attention in and of itself. All right, and it's made with love. Hello, anything made with love. Okay, all right, let's flip this over, see what they've got on the back, and then we're gonna open up the kit, and we're gonna talk about the amazing contents. A lot of people are like, why do we need to talk about what's on the back? Why, why? You don't have to, you can skip ahead, like hit that little skip button like a couple times, boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about what's on the back. Honestly, I'm really not. Before I open this, you see what it says? No color mixing, everything is included. Do it yourself, okay. You know how I feel about the boxes with the handles. I'm already like, I love you. All of this was in cellophane. I already opened it up because that's how I roll. Don't wanna waste any time getting into the goods. It does come with the three cheaper paintbrushes. I'm going to set these aside because you know those just don't excite me anymore. <laughs> but for those of you who may be new here, you may need some paintbrushes. There you go. These were also in their own package. I cheated. I already opened up the paints and swatched them because I am a sneaky little devil. Okay, I'm just going to tell you. And I put them in my own little baggie to put them back. One of the little varnishes, yes, you heard me right, it comes with a little varnish in the containers. You know how we love these, oops, excuse me. The little gloss varnishes had kind of leaked out a little bit on the paint and I didn't want it to be not pretty. So I cleaned it and then I was like, well, I'm gonna swatch them while I'm in here, you know? And then um, I wiped off some of the numbers when I did that. <laughs> So it was like, it was like the sleigh ride from hell at that point. It just went downhill. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So <laughs> I just kept messing everything up. So I decided, okay, let's go ahead and swatch the paint. But okay, let's talk about what's included in this kit. So you do get your little varnish for sealing your painting afterward. You guys, I have a video on sealing your painting. You can use this instead of what I used in that video. It's the same concept. All right, we're gonna talk about these delicious paints in a minute. Did you just get the hint? I kind of did a little foreshadowing there about the paints being delicious. 
All right, what do we have? We have a reference guide. Yes, Wazardi, we love you already. We love you because you gave us a reference guide. It's beautiful, it's printed nicely, it's perfect. We can, we can see it. We have our beautiful stretched canvas. And I'm gonna flip it this way just because this is the way our painting will be. It is a portrait view. Um, the canvas, you guys, is a fabulous texture. Now, it is deeply grooved. I would love to try it without clear gesso. I know that it's going to require clear gesso for me because I don't like divots. But for the love of gesso and all that is holy, I clear gesso every canvas, okay? I clear gesso every canvas. Say it with me. Okay. This is a beautiful canvas, you guys. It really is. But I am going to say it with me again. Clear gesso this canvas. I will clear gesso this canvas. And I will probably put two layers because it does have such a deep canvas texture to it in order to get into the divots. Remember when I said all things holy? I wasn't talking about spiritually holy. I was talking about holy. There's holes. You see what I'm saying here? Get the pun? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be blasphemous or anything. I just saying. All right. But seriously, y'all, for the love of gesso and all things holy, please don't. Please don't ask me if I'm going to gesso this thing. Yeah, yes. Yes, I'm going to. Okay? But it is a really beautiful canvas um so yes I just can't stop looking at it though it is just it is just a stunner okay so let me move this out of the way let's talk about some paints okay so let's talk about our beautiful paints talk about yummy delicious palette I would drink them except disclaimer they are unedible okay all right First things first, these are a matte finish. These are not satin nor glossy, which was interesting to me because this is the first paint by number kit besides dimensions that I've ever gotten that did not have satin or glossy paints. So they're very chalky and very matte finished, which was fine with me. I had no problem with that. They're beautiful. The, the coverage was very nice. The only ones I had issues with, or that I will have issues with, are going to be 7, 18, and 20. So what I've been trying to do a little bit here and there is that I've been going ahead and using my shades of gray that I have mixed up. And I go ahead and I'm just swatching with my lightest gray. So I took 18 and I put a light, light little shade of gray underneath it. And you'll notice it gets darker, but it's totally opaque now. So the tone stays the same, it's just darker. And then you got number seven, which is now a beautiful shade of blue. And now 20, which is crazy because if you don't look, let's just not even look at the original, it's just a beautiful cream. So it, it is surprising that even with a little bit of light gray underneath, that the tones stay the same as what they were originally. So like if you look at 18 this way, even with gray under it, it doesn't change the tone as what it should look like. So here it looks a little different because you're looking at it totally clear with white showing through. It's supposed to look just like this. Same with number seven. So that's what we're supposed to have but this is what we get because white is showing through. This just shows you when you're using a very, very light shade of gray to prime with before you paint your transparent colors when you're painting, that that is how well those work when you're painting. So if you guys are not familiar with what I'm talking about, be sure to watch my Three Shades of Gray video. It is a game changer. It is a lifesaver when it comes to your paint by number projects. So be sure to check that out. 
I'm super happy with this Wizardi painting. I cannot wait to get to it. I know it's number 972, probably in my queue of projects and videos that I want to start. I mean, <laughs> I wish I wasn't tired all the time because I have all these big plans and this much energy to do any of it. But, you know, the thought is there. I mean, and the willingness to do it is, is what is important, right? I wish, but anyway, French Alley, hello, beautiful. Thank you to Wazardi for contacting me and saying, try our paintings. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I did and I appreciate it. So you guys, I'm gonna put the link below about how to go find their paintings and all of their beautiful products. They also have diamond paintings, which I'll be bringing you soon. I will be coming back with another paint by number to show you. And it's especially nice to see more than one paint by number because then you can see the consistency. Um, in addition, they also have cross stitch kits, which they offered me, but I was like, well, I want two paint by numbers because I really love to see the consistency in paint by numbers. So I try to get more than one if I can. So I opted out this time of a cross stitch kit, but they have those as well. So be sure to check those out when you're there shopping. And again, I'll put a link below for you to go shop. You guys, thanks as always for being here and being supportive of our hobby channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your hobbies as well. Be sure to relax, take a deep breath, and don't forget to enjoy the process. And remember with your paint by numbers, it's just paint. I will see you back soon.